Uh, it smells unbelievable here in the studios. There's the book, uh, Burma. It's uh, Rivers of Flavor. And joining us is the uh, author, Naomi Duguid. Great to have you here on the show. So uh, and congratulations on yet another beautiful book that's out on the market. Thank you. Thank you. I, I feel so lucky because it is beautiful, you know. You can do all the work, mm -hmm. but somebody else has to design it and put it together. And I, uh, you know, I feel I really think I got taken well, well, well taken care well, of. Well, yeah. the, the book is beautiful. The photography is amazing. And just there's so much involved with it. So the, let's go back to the region because it's somewhere that you went a long time ago as, yeah. as a young woman uh, yeah. traveling. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I went in 1980 and then um, <clears throat> had this... You know, had this notion, having done a book about mainland Southeast Asia and a book about about the Indian subcontinent. Well, there's Burma in between, and it's technically Southeast Asia. It's got this long coastline on the Bay of Bengal, and and I just thought, let's try it. And it was, it's been closed away. It's been under a military dictatorship. And only after I'd finished the book, in a place which was viewed as a bit of a black hole by people, people mm -hmm. said to me, "What Burma? What? Yeah. You know, the publisher wasn't that thrilled about doing the book. Uh, really not thrilled. And um, truly. And so then, when I when I um, uh, after I handed in the manuscript and we were editing, suddenly, democracy starts to happen. Things loosen up. Aung San Suu Kyi is allowed to be a candidate in an election. Hillary Clinton comes to visit. The whole place turned into a different. There was a different vibe. And instead of people being anxious and fearful, they started to bloom and you start to see people discussing politics in coffee houses and tea shops you never did before. Right. So it's and, almost know, it's a celebration wonderful. of the people of the region so and that feels, comes through. Yeah, now it feels like a celebration. I'm going to make you a little grapefruit salad. I've got okay. a as, as we're talking helping, about all well, the talking. politics and everything that can go on but there's behind also food there's here, so right? much there. Yeah. Right. So, um, it's got, and it's really interesting that the salad tradition is often cooked ingredients, very little oil, um, and what you put on is, is flavorings and crunch. So I've got grapefruit. You could use pomelo. Do you, mm -hmm. Have you ever had pomelo? I don't know if I have. It um, looks like a grapefruit with a thicker skin. There's a little of this. Now, okay, when I make this, I don't, there? I don't tell people because sometimes yeah. they might be put off. It's dry shrimp ground to a powder. And, um, and do you want a little cayenne or not? Sure, why not? Okay. I, want to, I want to see you all the flavors all? because it seems through the book that these spices, these different Fried flavors, shallots. Come they come through. together and they sort of dance together on your tongue. And so in, in, with the other salad, you put lime juice, but because grapefruit's acidic, we don't need the mm -hmm. lime juice, right? And then we'll just put a little bit of fish sauce because we need saltiness, right? And there, there we are. Okay. The amount of things that you put on this are completely items that I never would have thought Ada put together. Well, put together, exactly. Right. And then actually, I'm, I'm gonna, I, my hands are clean, I promise you. Nor, the classic thing mm -hmm. is a salad is mixed by hand. And you know chefs do this in the kitchens right. all the time. It's just you never get to see it. And then you mix it all together, and in Burma, people really blend their salads. And sometimes mm -hmm. you put a little greenery on, so we could put a little of this, even this little little bit of um, pea shoot, just to make it pretty, right? And uh, and there you are. There's there's a little one one dish serving now. Here, okay, here I'll, I'll switch this. You so give that me you can a, do that. There you go. There you go. So it should have a little punch. There's going to be a little cayenne there. Okay. Do and I go? Cayenne at eight in the morning is good. No, just pick it's it up and pop really? it. Really? Tell me. Okay, can the you talk? On somebody else. Can I'll you talk? Oh, you yeah, talk right now as I'm going in. All right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. There you go. Oh, <laughs> that is so not going a on the boot. Test. I know. <laughs> I can do this. See, that is this unbelievable. Isn't that unbelievable? So you get the acidity and you get the peanut warmth and you get the sh uh, sh little shallot oil. This beats okay. any, anybody getting up in the morning and having to do that grapefruit <laughs> and it's kind of like the same thing all the time when they scoop it out. Boring, this boring. is unbelievable. Great. I well, love it. <laughs> so Burmese salads, they really are, they're really incredible. I'm, I, I'm making another one in a little while and we'll have another one to taste. And you're yeah. gonna, we're going to be doing spinach, is it spinach, tomato? It's, it's spinach and tomato, yeah. Okay, now, will people be able to find the ingredients needed? For okay. some of these, because I mean, you go through Let's, there, and and it's there's a lot of different items. Shallot, okay. Shallots, it, shallots are everywhere. Peanuts are everywhere. The only thing, dried shrimp. Um, we, we have whole dried shrimp over here, and dried shrimp you can find in Chinese grocery stores. And Ottawa is rich in 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 good yeah, Asian grocery right, stores. So, it's all findable. It's not. It, it's very accessible, and it's a wonderful palette of flavors to have to play with. You know. So should someone uh, almost go through the book, start to make a list of things that they would want to use, so that. They have but a there really bit more would only a, be five, you know, really, li li limes and shallots and dried shrimp and uh, peanuts and oh, and the and the chickpea flour, which is that's easily okay. easy to find. And that you might have to go to an Asian grocery mm -hmm. store for that. But also the health food stores have it. Yeah, okay. yeah, great, simple. We're going to be back uh, just <laughs> after the eight o'clock hour to do another recipe from the book. Uh, and also, I should mention you've been brought in because Beachwood's having a, a wonderful signing tonight. Yes, but you can't get in because it's all it's already sold yeah. out. <laughs>
<laughs> Just thought we sorry, would mention sorry that. Sorry to say that. Hello, I, I get you really excited, uh, books on Beechwood, but uh, it's sold out, so you'll just have to go at another time to be able to get the book. Thank you. I'm going to enjoy this right Great. now. Go awesome. right in.